Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to create a parametric part by using the splines. For this one just I have taken this drawing for creating the part. So this is the future we are going to create this handle part by using the splines. If you are trying to create with the arc, uh, it won't come properly. So in this scenario, spline will help. So for spline, this area they have mentioned 13 radius and then here they have given some distance 37. In that area, we have to maintain 29 uh, diameter and then at the area of 41, we have to maintain 20. Here they have given some more dimensions out there is a, this profile needs to have 80 mm radius and here this inner uh, curved profile needs to have 100 mm radius. On the bottom we need to have some 5 mm radius profile. So this is simpler profile by approaching we can create it is a simple if you are the beginner uh, then it will be difficult for you to achieve this profile so this video help you how to do this part so as i told earlier i have taken on start part so i have created an axis system with the help of coordinates so that all my part uh, related features i am going to use this uh, working axis system if I require to change the position, if I update this uh, point, all my sketches will update uh, together. So this is the basic thing we need to follow. So first I am going to find out what is the maximum length of my part. So from this edge to this one, they have given 103.5 mm going to draw one reference line so whenever you are creating the part if we have maximum dimension point just create one reference point so that your screen will won't change anywhere like your profile will be created in this area itself Next, I am going to create this top profile. For this top, I have 30 mm radius. So, this one also I am going to create by the help of splines. So, what I am going to do is just I am drawing one straight line for 30 mm. So, then I am going to create one spline. So I am going to create this point and then one more point to maintain this one and at the bottom. So totally four points I will have the control for this plane. So this is my first point. Then my 37th point, 37 mm point and then 41 mm point and then at the bottom point. And new escape. This point dimension is 29 dia. So, what I am going to do is 29 divided by 2. And then height we need to maintain from this point to this one. So, this is vertical. So, 37 we need to have. then we have this dimension 20 at 41 20 20 means dia 20 so radius 10 and then this height height we need to 
define so this is 37 plus 41 so then the bottom profile so for bottom profile they have missed to give the dimension so if you see the bottom view so here they have given the profile of this part so this diameter they have given as 24 so from 24 we can add some 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we can also maintain some for 24 so if die is 24 then 12 or 13 it depends on because they have not provided any dimension for this bottom so on this top we need to have some fillet for 13 and the bottom also we need to have fillet for this 5 mm radius check this dimension 